What is up guys in today's video I have another inside the mind style video where I walk you through my thoughts and decisions as I play in Fortnite zero build as always if you guys do find this video helpful and informative maybe to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more and if you would like to use me for support a creator my code is evolve Jake it is just like my channel name and it's underneath the webcam at all times we're gonna be going to Jones's this game Jones's has probably been my favorite landing spot for all of chapter three but this season it's also really nice because I added a lot of coolers here, so it's pretty much just guaranteed splashes. There's also a lot of hollow chest spawns and a two key vault right there and a one key vault right there. So lots of chug splashes guaranteed. If you get keys, there's probably going to be guaranteed good loot for you here out of the hollow chest or you can put them into the vaults. And with those vaults being there, there's also guaranteed mobility there. So it's just, I don't know. I've loved this POI ever since Chapter 3 Mappers came out, but this season as well. Just little changes they made, not necessarily to aid. I mean, I guess they did with the coolers, but the area around it and the way the game works with like the keys and the hollow chests and stuff, like, I don't know. This area is so good, I feel like. So we just been in a place I enjoyed fighting. Luckily, we got God loot off the rip. This is what I want Hammer Prime. Someone landed at that red building. This is no way that's a real person. Bro. Hopefully this lobby is good, man. I uh, have been on to record this. I streamed earlier today and then I just got back on. Last game was like way too free. I ended up recording one of these videos, but it was like just too free to post. Maybe it's just because we late dropped. I, I don't know, but I hope this lobby is actually decent. We will see. This player shot. They're making a decent play. They're trying to mantle onto the top of that thing, I think. If we had an RPG here, we could force them out, but we don't have one of those. All right, then. I don't know what to make of that player. They seem decent at first, but it's kind of... They lost the plot there a little bit. Yet to find any keys. Um, we can just throw this down in case we want to make use of it later. Ideally, I would like to find two keys and then go loot the vault outside condo. That, that would be like ideal in my opinion. We could loot that and then use that balloon afterwards to maybe clear out condo. If there's anybody else there, we see we could third party or just hit it and then go to another balloon and then kind of just like run the map that way. That's what I would like to happen. But if we don't find two keys, I'm not going to go over there. Not really any point. Can you break floor? Holy. All right. There's one of our keys. We end up getting upgrade on our prime. Nice. We still need to find two more chug splashes any all right there we go two keys w any sort of shockwaves we could find would be nice while we should be pretty much guaranteed to get them out of the vault it's not always the case also one thing i didn't mention about one of the reasons why i like landing here is the jonesy over there sells a blue prime shotgun and the, the prime shotgun is my current favorite shotgun in the game and blue is a solid rarity so just being able to get potentially a guaranteed it doesn't have the best spawn rate that npc like he isn't always here but when he is here being able to pretty much get a blue prime for slightly more than free is really really nice let's see if this has been open it has not been open yet according to the map but i don't know ever since this season started i feel like the map has been so buggy with like the different vault locations let's get up here Alrighty then, that guy tried to fight me. That guy was baiting the vault. What a little weenie. He's got full fried though. Like the bloom the game gave me was like immediate karma for him camping the vault like that. That's always the worst. When you go to open a vault and there's just somebody hiding nearby. Or the moment you open the vault, like 80 people show up for whatever reason. Also don't know if I finished saying what I was going to say, but uh, uh, earlier I was thinking about saying that like the, the vaults are pretty much guaranteed shockwaves but it doesn't always pan out um and that seemed to be the case here i think condo is actually a pretty underrated location as well there's so many coolers there and being able to get this vault is nice i 
Did I just hear somebody shooting? I couldn't tell because I was zipping. But yeah, there's a lot of coolers there and a good amount of loot. And if you're able to get two keys, you can just quickly open up that vault. And then you can use the balloon to travel around the map. You can travel from this balloon to that balloon to that balloon. And you just be across the map so quickly. And this, this loot is really, really nice. There may have actually been better shotguns or ARs there, to be honest. I was not paying the most attention when looting that vault. Which I probably should have been. I was just worried about getting shockwaves and heals before somebody pushed me. There, there may have just been like a gold prime chill in there. And like you guys in the comments are freaking out right now. We will see. Somebody landed up here. This stinks for me, man. It's two people here. They're fighting. They both just like shot me with fully loaded prime shots. That stinks. If that second player wasn't there, we would be in a way better spot right now. They're still both alive. I heard the other guy underneath when we were down there for a second. Well, this is really not ideal. We're in a bad spot here. I guess I could go... I, I really don't want to do this because it's so, like... Uh, like slow paced I, I try to get into a lot of fights but since we already opened this vault and i know there's extra heals here we might as well double back because I, I don't really think we're gonna get anything good out of that fight that one of those players is just gonna hide low ground i think and then that other that skull trooper may or may not come back it seems like somebody did get the scraps out of our vault though it's probably this player hmm they get out here We gotta reload our AR, but... Eh, I did not want that guy getting away from me. Wait! That guy was in my spectating video the other day. This person has 925 wins, 23,000 kills. I know, because I had to look up his stats on Fortnite Tracker. He has like, uh, like close to 900 wins, I think. I should have edited in some clips to show it. That's funny. I just I only recognize that name because I ended up having to like type it into Fortnite. I tried to look it up. Mm, we come away with three chug splashes total, and pretty much no shockwaves. We could. Go back to condo because I, I know there is a lot of coolers there and I doubt they've all been looted. There's also hollow chests at the gas station. This is just so like, I, like I said earlier, I, I try to get into like a lot of fights and play these games aggressive, but I don't know. Maybe like seeing how I regain is that beneficial for some of you. I don't know. Also, what I was trying to say when it, before I landed on that guy was like the guy low ground at the gas station. I feel like it's just going to be weird and just like chill. And then we have potential for that Skull Trooper to come back and third party us. Or just anybody else third partying us. Pushing down into that gas station and trying to find that player that was hiding was questionable. I wasn't super concerned about getting this purple hammer. But I heard an extra key here. And that's honestly kind of griefed me. You know we don't have as much time to loot some of these coolers. But I figured like, okay, there's an extra... See there, we might as well get this hammer. Okay, yeah. It seems like most of the coolers have been looted. Rip. Also, we are down bad on shockwaves, man. Also, that, that, that reload mess up is so triggering. I'm confused. Okay, here it is. I was looking for this. I thought it was like right on the edge of that. But having one shockwave here is really sucks because if we use this in one fight, we have no more mobility.
maybe we have time to loot this fall. I don't think we do, though. 90 seconds. Allegedly, it's already been opened anyways. Never mind. I want to check this for cool or splashes, actually. Yeah, we probably should have just came here instead of going to condo. I'm dumb. Because I didn't loot all of this. Yeah, when I needed extra splashes, I should have just came here. W. Solves one of our problems. We still don't have the shockwaves. But it's a better spot to be in than where we were a few seconds ago, so... W. We have 10 opponents remaining. Or 14, sorry, I can't math. Holy... Like, let's say I, like, use the shockwave to get into a fight and kill somebody. And then we get third-partied and, like, I can't... I can't reposition after that unless the player we kill happens to have shockwaves as well. A really bad scenario would be if I use it to push somebody and then they just have more mobility than me and dip out. And then there's, like, not really anything I can do about it. it sounds like there's some people fighting here on the edge of the shrine area. Oh, they're actually not in zone. Frick, I wanted to go, like, walk up there and then hold them. This chicken could just, like, mind its business, and that would be great. How excited are you guys for the zombie chickens to leave the game? Because on November 1st, this upcoming Tuesday, all the Fort Nightmare stuff should be removed from the game. And that includes the zombie chickens. Is this gold? The mythic? How do they still have this? The saplings have been out of the game for so long. That person has just left their plant festering for so long. They almost don't even deserve it, I feel like. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. That was a good play, though. That was very net positive. We put one shockwave and got six back. Zone is on the complete opposite side of where we are, though. And I know somebody was already at the Herald's location kind of shooting at me somewhere over there. I just want to wrap far away, I feel like. Maybe get to the tornado and then fly away. The dead side of this zone, I feel like, would be over here. Like, or over here. Like, I feel like most people are going to be playing the other side, like, over here. And if you get to, like, where I marked or kind of talked about as dead side, if you get there and zone goes there and everybody else has to come into you from the other side, you're going to have... An easier time winning that game than what you should have. Like if I get this house and everybody else is down there. That'd be ideal. We'll see though. I doubt that that would work out perfectly. There's probably some weirdos existing in, you know, little crevices in this tall grass and these bushes. Sounds like there's some people fighting at the Herald's area and I would have liked to have done something about that, but it wasn't, wasn't good timing for me. I didn't them or anything i like that skin i think it's a spartan elite skin or whatever i forget what it's called but it was in the shop recently i actually just bought it today i'm happy that guy just died right there by the way because my game felt so weird while i was fighting him What the heck? That was so bizarre. I wanted to just go straight up with my shockwave. I don't know what happened. I like hit my head on something and got sent the other way. So I really like the hammer AR, but, and one of the nice things about it compared to the, uh, Burst is that it's better at range, but I feel like there's an argument to be made for taking the burst end game sometimes, especially in build mode. Because in build mode end game, you're probably not gonna have any like super long range fights. But in zero build, I feel like we're still likely to get some fights that are like decently long range. So I'm gonna stick with the hammer, even though I do love the burst. I like it more as an SMG. 
than as an actual AR. There is somebody under me just existing in these walls that you can walk through. We have four opponents. I know one's underneath me. One just got ran over there. So now we have three opponents. You know, one guy's in this car. I just don't really know what this guy's doing. And this man knows the strats with this chrome area. Maybe not. I don't know why. I, I don't know if I'm just like deep down a nice person or something. But I there's nothing harder for me to do than shoot someone that's just straight running from me like that. That player had the season two shield, by the way. That back bling was from season two. The first battle pass ever. Not the Black Knight, but the other knights in that battle pass, that was the shield they were using. Two opponents remain. One's in this car. They may or may not be a concern or like a problem. We don't have the most shockwaves, which is not ideal. And then the other player, we don't have any intel about them at all. I want to see this player that got ran over here. Okay, I wanted to see if maybe they had any shockwaves on them because we had to use way too many to kill that one player that was just like kind of being odd earlier. Two opponents though, like I said. This is where the goo gun would be nice. We hit him good there. The other guy's kidding in tall grass over there with a snipe. We hit this guy like 35 white at least. That's so tilting. To not get that kill there. Chicken, please mind your business. Why they do the chickens like this, man? They make all the chickens just aggro as heck on you. They're just sending the chickens to their death. Every game. I think both players have to come from this side. I don't, I don't think the guy that got out of the car cut across already. That's why I used one of my few shockwaves to get over here because I, I feel like just being right here gives me a huge advantage, yeah. Once again, out of AR ammo, but just like push, like he's so weak that I'm pretty sure I could get the kill in one shotgun shot. GG's. That was an interesting game. Um, I, I feel like that's something you usually don't see from these videos because I try to just play aggro like the entire time, but, and I don't like backing away from fights, but I don't think that fight at the gas station would have went well. I think there was one player ratting there and we were just in an area where we were really likely to get third party. So doubling back and looting that vault that we had already looted to like try to supplement what we had lost in that situation was a better play even though that isn't like the play style i typically like playing and it was interesting that we ran into somebody that I was just in one of my videos the other day but if you guys did find this video helpful informative remember to give it a like subscribe if you like to see more and like i said at the start of the video if you do want to use me for support a creator my code is evolve jake it is much appreciated if you do that and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching